VW and Audi have put new roadblocks in place in terms of coding control modules, but does that mean they're trying to lock us out of working on our own cars? The automotive world has always been a game of cat and mouse between the aftermarket and the manufacturers who make the cars. Like Rich Rebuilds who fought with Tesla or the American farmers who are going after John Deere currently, the right to repair turns out to be a really big issue. Starting in 2020 with the Mark 8 models, VW rolled out the SFD unlock, this stands for Schutzfahrzeugdiagnos, which stands for Protection Vehicle Diagnostics. This new system requires either an authorized account or a special key they call tokens to access certain components in control modules. The question is, did VW do this to prevent you from working on your own car? SFD unlock isn't something that blocks things like scanning faults, erasing faults, and basic diagnostic. It blocks things like adaptation, coding, or output diagnostic test modes. Historically, when making coding changes or adaptation changes with an OBD11 or a VADCOM, you're gonna go into your module and go into security access. You're then gonna be prompted to enter a login code. These are often on screen, or you can find them on the internet. Either way, they're accessible to the average person. In this particular case, 31347 is the most common one and we are gonna hit enter and it will allow us to access our module. Shameless plug, if you'd like an OBD11 or a set of wheel spacers or a short shifter like this or any of these parts, head over to shopdap.com for any of your VW and Audi parts needs. Also, we have Volkswagen Audi specialty repair shops in Ohio and North Carolina, so check them out as well. Coding or adaptation changes on many VW and Audi models are things to modify your car to improve it. Things like holding the lock button on your remote to have your windows roll up or changing the functionality of your turn signals to something a little more unique. Now on the newer models to access this type of modification, you need to use SFD unlock. At our repair shops, we have Otis, which is the factory scan tool that a dealer would use. When you pay for this software, you have access to anything that a dealer would have, which means you have SFD lock built into it. The other two common VW and Audi specific scan tools are OBD11 and VAGCOM. VAGCOM does have SFD unlock, but you have to use manually entered tokens to do so. Now, you can acquire them. I don't know how to do so or how much they cost. And this is a much more complicated process. OBD11, however, has full SFD unlock built into their pro subscription, uh, which gives you full ability to lock and unlock your SFD at any time. This is a licensing deal they made with VW. But did they do this to cut you off from working on your own car? Do you think VW would have made a licensing deal with OB11 to grant access of SFD unlock to any of their users if they were actually trying to cut people off from actually using SFD unlock? Was this a money grab from the manufacturer? I don't think they're trying to block you. And while they did make a licensing agreement that does make VW money, I don't think that's how SFD unlock actually started. I suspect all the SFD unlock stuff has to do with over-the-air updates, or at least that's my opinion. Over-the-air updates give manufacturers the ability to update the software in your car without you having to take it into a dealership. Tesla is widely known for this. This is also why companies like Honda, who have had historically simplistic cars, have added things like CAN bus to their cars over the past few years. I presume over-the-air updates without something like SFD unlock would expose the security of your car. While the addition of SFD unlock has likely made everybody in the VW and Audi world's life more difficult, they're doing this to ensure that Hacker Man can hack your car and drive you off the road. The requirement to pop the hood to allow the car to unlock, I believe is used as a two-factor authentication to prevent someone from accessing your car who's not physically there. That way, no one, unless they intentionally pop the hood on the car and the car sees that, is going to be able to change any coding in your car. The real question is, what do you think about this? Does this mean you're gonna have black helicopters following you and your every move? Or is this better and protecting us to make sure that no one drives your car straight off a cliff?